Hi everyone, uh, this is Blinksing again. I'll be updating all of you guys with my pregnancy last week. So that last week was actually my seventh week pregnant. I know from the previous video was my, my complete six uh, week pregnancy update. This uh, past week was my seventh, which means today um, I'm eight weeks one day. So I'll be as quiet as possible because my little one Luna is sleeping and I will hate to wake her up. But it has been a rough week. Um, so I had my doctor's appointment last Wednesday. I actually went for emergency because I, I was having some spotting. After that, I still continue with spotting up until Saturday. Actually, Saturday, I had very little spotting. So I've been pretty weak, no energy, a little depressed. It's not easy, you know, going through such thing. I don't think for anyone will be easy. Uh, but then on Sunday, which was actually, let me check on the dates. Sunday was the 13th of December. I had a lot of cramping. I had a lot of abdominal pain on my lower stomach. Um, I had a very tender stomach. And also, I had a lot of blood, uh, blood clots. So that was very concerning to me. That's when I called my doctor. Um, and they actually, they were closed uh, on Sundays. But they actually called me back Monday morning, meaning yesterday. Yesterday was December 14th, and um, to them it was concerning as well. So I went to the doctor yesterday, roughly at four, and uh, I was a little heartbroken <laughs> because, uh, first of all, I was I've been very nervous with this whole thing as my first pregnancy. I didn't have any spotting. Actually, I did have spotting, but it was different kinds, but I had implantation bleeding, um, which was one of the first signs for me to tell that I was pregnant. But in this case, uh, when I began spotting, I was already uh, seven weeks pregnant. So that happened way after uh, implantation bleeding is, is expected to happen. So uh, I went to the doctor and um, the first thing when I'm walking, obviously she asked me how, how I'm feeling, my symptoms, and um, then she says, well, let's find out if you miscarriage. To me, that was, I don't know, such a devastating word to hear. I wasn't expecting to hear that word at all. I had so many questions for her that my brain just blanked out. I couldn't think. Uh, it was very even hard to process the things she was saying or the things she was doing to me, like checking on me. I do recall that she, uh, she wanted to check the baby's heartbeat. And uh, that's when she did the vaginal ultrasound. And the good thing is that I'm still pregnant. Um, she was able to hear a uh, heartbeat. It was, uh, I think she said uh, the heartbeat was 154, yeah, 154. Uh, but uh, she did uh, wanted to let me know that um, my symptoms are concerning and it's a sign of a, uh, she called that I'm at a, at a stage of threatened miscarriage. And I re the words that she used was, you can stop bleeding 
and you can continue on with your on the, with a normal pregnancy or um, you can stop bleeding then a miscarriage will happen or I forgot the other part scenario that she mentioned but I was um, but the chances that she gave us right now it's a 50 50 that the baby might make it and it is heartbreaking um, we've been wanting this baby for a while we planned for this baby I had so many so I have so many hopes and dreams for our family like right now I'm about to cry uh, I've been very emotional this week I've been crying uh, every night pretty much I cried Sunday night I cried last night it's just very hard to to be positive I've tried many things to make me feel better I've tried resting I've tried being in a positive healthy environment but it hasn't worked the bleeding hasn't stopped uh, like I said on Sunday I had a lot of clotting blood clotting so I had a severe cramps like from a 1 through 10 the pain I would say was a 9 or a 10 the entire day <sighs> yesterday um, it did produce a lot more but increased by late evening and today <sighs> I had very little spotting in the morning but then uh, after lunch actually I ha I've been having a lot more bleeding uh, but less uh, blood clotting so there's a lot a lot less blood clotting but uh, I do feel in pain like from 1 through 10 right now I'm at 7 or 8 it is rough it is rough like in my symptoms there's no appetite this week at all but I have to be I have to to nourish the baby that's, that's still growing inside of me the baby's alive it's just it's just concerning what's happening to my body and um, my husband has been very supportive but physically, I'm very exhausted. It's very painful. No one wants to see blood every single day, <laughs> right? It's, it is concerning. As much as I try to be positive whenever I, go, I need to go to a restroom, whenever I see blood, it brings my self-esteem or enthusiasm or, po or positivity down a lot because you fear for the worst right now I actually took my daughter for a nap and I started having severe cramping again <laughs> severe cramping I really don't know what's going to happen but my doctor said that the only thing that we can do is wait and see if I can actually carry this baby for the remaining what um seven months seven full months because I'm actually eight weeks one day so I'm not a, a full two months yet <sighs> she did want me uh to to go for another checkup. I actually have another appointment on December 22nd, uh, which is next Tuesday, um, to check on the baby's heartbeat to make sure he's doing okay. 
but other than that, it's been a rough week for me. Very rough week. I actually, my, my stomach's very tender, very swollen right now. So I'll actually show you my stomach, um, how it looks right now. So yeah, today is uh, my eighth week, one day. So it's quite big compared to last week's. Let me pull up. I have this. I'm not sure where these pants came from, but I've had these for a while. <laughs> so this is my eight week stomach. Like I can't even suck it in. It's very painful. I've been trying to rest as much as possible. But it doesn't help with the bleeding. I'll actually show you um, the ultrasound photo that the doctor was able to share with me. Hang on for a second. Oh gosh, I hope you can see it. But that's the baby. Um, he or she did have a heartbeat. Uh, but I'm going back, like I said, next week to check on, on the baby. But so far, I'm trying to be positive. But my symptoms, they're very concerning. I'll update everyone next week to see um, how everything is doing, but for the meantime, I'll rest as much as possible <sighs> because there is really not, like my doctor said, there's nothing really you can do. Um, I can't, I've been avoiding walking as well uh, because um, even though it has helped me with the bleeding, it decreases, walking has decreased. But then the other point, my doctor said if, if anything bad were to happen, uh, that uh, sh she wouldn't want me to blame myself as uh, the reason for my miscarriage was because I was active and I was walking or doing exercise. So I've been avoiding all of that for this week. But we'll see how it goes next week. Wish us best of luck and keep us in your prayers. Take care.